I think one of the most interesting things people don't realize is there's a lot of games you can buy on the app stores or you can buy on consoles or you can buy on the PC that are made in St. Louis. My name's Matt Rathel, studio director and owner of Graphite Lab. I'm TJ Hughes and I'm the solo artist and founder of Terrifying Jellyfish. I'm Mary McKenzie and I'm the founder and managing partner of Volcano Bean. I'm Robin Rath, co-founder and CEO of Pixel Press, the creator of Bloxels, and I'm proud to be located in downtown St. Louis. I've been studio director for Graphite Lab since 2009. We work with companies like Hasbro to make sure that their brands, such as Transformers, have a path to the App Store where we can make it into a hit. So Volcano Bean is a small game studio based out of St. Louis. We have two mobile apps that we released, Where's My Goblin and Sleepy Kraken. Currently we're working on our first full-size video game that'll be on PC and console. Some call me a game developer, some call me a 3D artist. Yeah, I just make 3D interactive applications for the fun and the art of it. Pixel Press is a company that builds innovative platforms for creating and sharing games. We have a distribution partner into the consumer space in Mattel. We've also done a partnership with Disney with the Star Wars license. So we used to draw games as kids, and our technology was around this idea of taking a drawing, taking a picture of it with a tablet device, and instantly turning it into a game. I started learning game development when I was 13, not even thinking that it was a skill or something you could do professionally. I just really wanted to make cool 3D things, and here we are, it kind of just snowballed and evolved into everything I know today. When I look at the landscape 10 years ago when we first moved out here, and there were way fewer resources then than there are now. Now we have our studio along with others, so we're incredibly competitive in terms of the passion for this industry. There's everything from hobbyists to like larger scale companies, that they're all making something different and they all do it in a different way. The community here in St. Louis is 100% one of teamwork and camaraderie. And no matter like what you need, the St. Louis probably has someone for it. There's Pixel Pop Festival that I'm a co-organizer of that is a once a year event. Where last year we had 500 people, there were 50 developers showing off their games. We were recently a sponsor of the Global Game Jam, which is one of the largest game development game jams it, it really in the world in terms of the number of games that they create over a short amount of time. There's a definite interest and passion for our students coming through St. Louis to pursue a degree in game development. We've seen that evidenced by growing incoming freshmen at Maryville, as well as just a growing interest group here in St. Louis. It's all really just shown me that we have a community here and we have something here that's really worth pursuing, that's really worth cultivating. I love that our product lets kids tell an interactive story and be a part of that world and get it out there. And when I think about my story and how I led to this point, the people along the way that got us here, it's really, it's really special. To do this anywhere else, it just doesn't carry the same authenticity in my mind. I would go to these conventions in San Francisco and in New York. They wouldn't even know where St. Louis was 10 years ago. Now they know, and they know who's here, and they know what we're doing, which is really uh, pretty exciting.